Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. In the last episode we managed to pick up Captain Crimson stuff which is brilliant for us, really really handy. Um, that is of course giving us a massive uh, damage increase and also uh, damage reduction uh, depending on which side of the coin uh, you're looking at. Uh, we we kind of need to work on our legendary gems. So there's a couple of things that I want to do. I want to get us the Hellfire Amulet. Um, that's going to mean we actually go through to the uh, various Hell Realms. We could do that now, actually. Um, as well as that, uh, we need to get two copies of Unity and one Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac, uh, potentially replacing the Convention of Elements. Uh, I'm not sure... In fact, with the Convention of Elements that we've got, I could re-roll the armor on it, just having a look at it, because the armor is not really going to be giving us much when I could swap it over for attack speed increase, which is... It would be a really significant boost to do that. Uh, for the moment, let's keep the armor. Because attack speed is really going to be our, our problem. That's one of the reasons why I want to get our... Let, let's uh, swap over for that. That yeah increases our toughness slightly. Um, I'm losing what I'm saying. Uh, right, yeah. So attack speed is is a big problem for us. Um, uh, one of the reasons I want us to get our legendary gems is so we can get pain enhancer, which will hopefully help a little bit. Uh, we could also do the gogok of swiftness, um, which we do have. Um, we would just need somewhere to actually socket it in. Um, so that will mean replacing the Traveller's Pledge with something else. And it's it's a shame because it's such a nice, nice rolled one. Um, but it's not what we need. Uh, I actually need to pick up the... One, two, three. Can I just take... Can I just take one of them? There we go. Yeah, so we could take the, the Gogok of Swiftness. and it, it wouldn't be a terrible idea, giving us um, increased speed and also I think it's increased armor that it gives you. Um, but it's, it's not part of our Grand Master Plan. Well, not that we really have a Grand Master Plan at the moment. So let's run around. There goes one of them. There goes the second one. With these guys, we kind of have to be a little bit careful because I need to build up the um, damage resistance before anything touches us, just in case it all goes horribly wrong. Um, it's going to be even harder in um, the massive, massive Hell Realm, but as long as we keep our profit safe and spare, just in case, it should be fine. And if we're lucky, the first Hellfire Amulet we make will be a good one. And if we're unlucky, it won't be. And we'll have to do it all again at some point. Right, he's gone. He's gone. Hit him with all barrels of that shotgun. And also, this is ticking off some of our Slayer objectives, which is quite nice. Uh, we're only on Torment 11, so we're not going to really be um, getting the much, much higher ones if I go to Champion. Actually, no, we will get those. Yeah. Okay, well, I take it back. This is going to be fine. Absolutely fine. Let's uh, get in while we still got that extra damage boost. Bang! Got them both with the same blast. I love Alpha Striking. And we got some braces from that, not ones that we care about, so we'll just keep moving quickly. Yeah. 
So there goes him. Wow, that was that was really quite painful. Let's run around like this for a moment. Gone. Almost got it. There we go. Give me all your delicious loot. And let's never go back in there again. I'm actually really glad we had that extra damage reduction. That could have been quite nasty without. So, Shen. Let's uh, let's make a Hellfire Amulet of Strength. We can actually make two just in case this doesn't really work out. Heavenly Strength passive, which is one we've got. That is actually really good. It does attack speed, which is also good. It's not amazing attack speed. So if we re-roll that um, regen into something else, like maybe critical hit chance, Suffice to say, I'm I'm happy enough to, to switch across to it. Um, the reason I say critical hit chance is if we are going to go for pain enhancer, we want critical hits to cause enemies to bleed near us to improve our attack speed. Uh, so we want to keep our critical hit chance nice and high. 31% at the moment is great, but it was all the way up at 40.5%, so significantly more powerful. Actually, 1% cooldown reduction per stack of swiftness. That will improve our damage dealt as well. So Gogok of Swiftness could become even more useful. Maybe we'll just go for the Gogok. At which point I don't really care about the criticals. Instead, we'll re-roll that regen into something else. Either way, uh, so Compass Rose, Traveler's Pledge, those two are going to go there. Uh, these braces are just going to get salvaged because they're going to be duplicates of ones we've already got. Yeah, Akans Manacles, they can just get salvaged. Uh, and that means we don't need Heavenly Strength here, and instead we can switch over for... The long arm of the law. Increasing the length of this to 10 seconds is going to be pretty amazing. I don't think we want anything else. I'm just double checking. Yeah. That's, that's actually going to work really nicely for us. Well, will you look at that? Okay. So now there's even more of an incentive for us to um, level up our gems so that we can get that uh, cooldown reduction. And that cooldown reduction is also going to help with our uptime. I love it. I love it. Okay. So we're technically at Torment 11. Um, yeah, let's, let's just run a 48. Wow, we are really not moving. 0 0.12 attacks per second. I swear that must be bugged.
It's probably to do with um, something like how quickly uh, it ends up uh, triggering. Like if we get hit too many times in too short a space of time. Shield Pylon will help us out regardless. So let's do that. While we've got this Shield Pylon, we'll just keep absolutely mullering everything in sight. This is such an unstoppable build when you've got the speed to go with it. So we've still got plenty on our shield pylon. That shield pylon is gone. Oh, we are stuck in place. Look at that. Zero, zero attacks until the old attack is finished. I'm, I'm almost certain that's what it is that's happening. Buddy, buddy, in. Let's do that. Okay, helm, two hand mace, gloves, ring, and ice blink. Well, the ring is potentially quite useful. Uh, we're going to put points into Gogok. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, we're getting plenty of levels from these. So the ring was Unity. Amazing. Uh, I'm going to keep that and put that straight in. Um, we're not going to give Cormac a copy of Unity until he's going to be invincible. That's just the way I'm, I'm going to see that. Want to find more gold out there? Bring a thief with you next time. Or do we hold off for the moment? No, nah, no, nah, we'll, uh, we'll extract it. Then we can't extract it. Because we need that's best. All right. Well, for the moment, it will sit up here until we actually need it. Need it. Uh, we've already got Sky Warden that can go. Gladiator Gauntlet is new. Uh, Blind Faith is new, but that could just go. And Ice Blink is another specific rank one that can go in there. Lovely. Salvage, salvage. Uh, we have plenty of blood shards, so let's have a talk about braces. Someday, perhaps, when I'm rich. Shackles of the Invoker? Not what I was expecting. I mean, that's, that's so much about all of the thorns. 
That's very funny. How about these? Oh, better nemesis braces. Holy skills deal 20% extra damage as well on top. I will very much have them in there. Okay, so Shackles of the Invoker. They are coming across. That's all Blessed Shield. Uh, they'll go, yeah, with the Bombard build. Uh, the rest of this all gets salvaged up. And then we'll jump in and do another... Another great... Ooh, no, regular Rift, all right. I guess we are scooching through this as quickly as we can. I mean, I say that, but when, when are we not scooching through these things as quickly as we can? Give me all the death breaths. And I will put them to good use. Let's go back and check what's in that chest. And then open this. Just in time to watch everything die. I think we got touched by someone because our attack speed dropped for a moment. It is very satisfying just charging around like this. We could probably put the difficulty up slightly now, thinking about it. Maybe to Torment 12. The extra survivability from Captain Crimson's stuff um, is making me feel a lot happier about the fact we might get kind of like stuck in place. Ooh, we are so stuck in place. Can I start moving? Now we're gone. But, ah, uh, yeah. I would love to have a visual indicator for my attack speed on the screen so I can tell when I've been completely boned by it. Not that it's really going to make any difference, of course. grab everything lovely as we come through here. I think there was a chest back here, yep. Never leave a chest unopened, because you never know what's going to be in it. Not yet. He's gone. Ooh, big guys with fire chains as well. Let's nuke them all in one go. Ooh, a potion. Is it a potion that gives attack speed? Because if so, I'm interested. Hey, braces. Every time braces drop until we get the ones that we want, I'm going to be excited. We're almost at the Rift Guardian. Mm. 
0.12 attacks per second. Right, let's just not be in there. Lining up the shotgun and just waiting until we can actually do things. I could have been uh, more efficient um, with that kill, but getting him blinded I thought was the best way of handling that. Uh, let's head back, uh, we'll hand this in and uh, have a look at all the different things we got, because there's quite a few. Okay, up here, points go in, one, two, three. So that attack speed is up to 1.2% better, which is always nice to see. Promise of Glory, no. Blood Brother, no. Sultan of Blinding Sand, also no. It's an interesting potion, not one that we care about, but I'll hold on to it anyway, just so that we do have it. Better Roland's Boots. So these are now, I don't know, fake chess piece. And over here, we'll put in the bits we actually care about and everything else we will salvage up. That's uh, quite a lot more gems that we've got. It might be worth seeing if we can upgrade anything as well. But for the moment, Kadala, let's have a chat about braces. Someday, perhaps. No. No, that's a, that's a really big no. Uh, let's re-roll our Hellfire Amulet before I forget. 750 Vitality or 16% Extra Life. That's going to depend on this. So we've got plus 25% life at the moment. I think 750 vitality is going to give us the best response from that. I mean, it takes us up to 30 million, which is pretty spot on. You couldn't ask for a better better stat roll on that. It's just a shame that the attack speed is a little bit low. Um, but eventually we will get a better one. And eventually we will get a socket in our weapon and uh, all the other fun things uh, that come along with gradual improvement. Greater Rift. Let's go for level 52 because we're tough enough. Hold on while I just extricate myself from this situation. I feel like this is actually going alright. We did get hit quite a bit at the start. But I've tried to keep my attack speed on the up with my law. I keep uh, forgetting to actually activate the law. So this time I'm trying to make sure that I do that before I do any big bits. And it's definitely helping. Plus, fewer ranged mobs in this area. OK, 
Okay, that's gone very well. Let's move on while we've still got this momentum. Not actual momentum uh, like you have in the uh, Demon Hunter class. Down again, level 226. Ooh, loads of mobs. So I think as long as we're in uh, angry Akra profit mode, the stone gauntlets don't give us the negative effect. But then once we're out of that mode, we definitely get hit by it. It's certainly inconsistent. And uh, switching over to the Gogok of, or adding the Gogok of Swiftness was definitely the right thing to do. So much the right thing to do. It is keeping us moving at a time when, oh my god, we are, we are fast. And slow, fast and slow at the same time. Okay, well, we got a whole bunch of stuff out of that. Let's uh, carry on putting in the Gogok of Swiftness because it's going to be our big thing for the moment. I'm returning to town. We'll head back to town, ID all this stuff and ask for more braces. We are so fast! Obscenely fast, right. Maximum wrath. Attack speed goes up even more. Armor goes up even more. Life per hit goes up. So, we got Spots of Zagara, Deathseeker's Cow, Fate of the Fell. It's, an, it's a nice one. So yeah, if we wanted to do the whole judgment and Fate of the Fell in hand. That that could totally work. Uh, so actually, let's let's put this down here with this one, just in case we ever switch across to that armor of the kind region. Smite will be cast on a second hit by enemy. Don't care. It will go up in our items up here, just in case. Multiple wildebeest gizzard. Rank zero. No maximum rank in theory. And the rest of these, oh, Death Watch Mantle, we've already got one, I'm pretty certain. Yes, we do. Spoils of Zagara, we've definitely got one. So the rest of these can just get salvaged up. Death Seeker's Cow, we don't have another. So that stays. Okay, just before we do our salvaging, Kadala. Braces. Someday. No braces. No braces. Okay, uh, so we do still have more Crater of Keystones. Let's go for Torment 12. It's a pretty good start. We have been hit just a tiny bit, which is why we're turning to stone. Oh, we are so slow. Right. Yeah, it's very inconsistent the way it does that, but you do kind of get used to it and how to work around it. I think I'd be probably more comfortable with it on softcore because it does feel like a bit of a janky mechanic. Hey, we actually blocked. What do you know? The 
slowest pachunk. Slowest shotgun. But let, let me go around into the into the main area. Right, that's nice and big in our cells for a bit. Can we get you hit? I wonder if the uh, uh, the boots that. Um, make you immune to crowd control impairing effects have any bearing on this of course we happen to get a blessed hammer paladin that comes out in the middle of something that stops all your ranged attacks working let's Let's just move on. We'll have our attack speed back soon enough. I think the Gogok of Swiftness is probably a bit more consistent than Pain Enhancer would be. We'll, we'll probably try them both out. In fact, we could switch over um, Bane of the Traps to Pain Enhancer. Once we get it, of course. Because um, having bleeding enemies giving us even more attack speed would probably get us out of a lot of the annoying bits that we get ourselves into. The not being able to move, I don't mind that too much because, you know, we're going to be sturdy enough to tank things, but if we just keep getting hammered on while that's happening, then we never get to attack. And that's just not cool in the in the long term. Yeah, you've got to, got to be able to attack at some point. We are not a thorns-based paladin. So in terms of uh, how I feel about this build, I do really like it. I should stress that right uh, right now. It is very different to every other build, I think, that I've played. Um, just the, the nature of it is so, so vastly different. Um, turning yourself into almost a fixed piece artillery. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good. Ooh, we got another ring out of that. Sorry, two more rings. So that'll be interesting. Also, potential replacement for our main armor. Let's put points into the Gogok. I'm returning to town. So, as always, hand it in with Oric. We'll go put our points in. So that's. Maximum Wrath up, Attack Speed up, Armor up, and Life Per Hit up. So, from these, we got another Convention of Elements that can go in the cube. We got another Nagel Ring. We got the Talisman of Akan. That's all about Akarat's champion in beginning. Uh, so, really, this is going to need to be.
Yeah, let's uh, let's move our spare items across because these are spares. Um, whereas this one is for re-rolling. Uh, so the Brigandian Valor, it is better in terms of strength. It is worse in terms of everything else. So this is one that can be re-rolled. It comes across here. Talisman of Akan, that uh, is going to take the place over here. Pull of the Earth. We are not a barbarian. Rhyme Heart, that one can go in the cube. Convention of Elements will go in the cube. That Nagel Ring will go in the cube. Uh, Wreath of Lightning is coming over here. In fact, let's go up there. And I think we're ready to have some more disappointment from Kadala. Kadala, please, please, braces. Not, not the braces that we wanted. So one of the reasons why we might not switch out Bane of the Trapped is uh, it it will do extra damage from uh, from everyone affected by control impairing effects such as our shield. It's it's quite a quite a big thing uh, that and it will give the uh, the aura around us. But for the speed bonus that we could get from Pain Enhancer, I think I think it's going to be it's going to be pretty huge. Well, we've got time for more rifts, so let's carry on pushing on in. Uh, actually, we should up the difficulty to Torment 12, seeing as we just did a Torment 12 rift. Let's try this one more time. all those gems. Yeah, they will. They really will. I mean, Cormac's definition is going to be very different to mine. We know that. He does try. Anything in the chest? No, not today. Oh, we are locked in place. At least we had a big... not stand in that. Yeah, at least we had a big shotgun ready to go. Uh, we just had to wait for it to actually fire when that happened. Okay, not a bad start to the, the rift as a whole. getting plenty of death threats which allow us to try some upgrades. Ooh, I will take that sword, thank you. No, oh, so slow. So that was a block fires of heaven that went off just then. Our attacks still go down to the slowest possible level. 0 0.12 attacks per second.
We do get them killed eventually, though. We are so slow when that happens. Oh my god, I need to wait so I can pick up things off the ground. Definitely tanky though, definitely tanky. Anything from the chest? No, I can't even pick up the items. And up here. The ghosts are probably the most frustrating of them. That was a little bit painful on us. Is he just teleporting right next to me? They are, right? Okay. Took them out. Give me all of these. And all of this as well. We are very close to the Rift Guardian time. I want to make sure I'm not in the middle of a big group when the Rift Guardian comes along, of course. Plenty of greater of keystones. Come on, let me move away. Oh, look. Oh, frustrating. Not yet. I think I've got Out of room. everything that I care about. I need to go back. Let's head back and uh, speak to Auric. In terms of uh, stuff to ID, there's another Death Seekers cowl. String of Ears, kind of cool. And Solara is actually quite a lot of damage. Sure, we'll switch you across to that. So in terms of Rhyme Heart, we've already got one. Uh, String of Ears is new. Uh, everything else can get salvaged up. Gone and gone. Kadala braces just before we finish. Please be kind. Not kind at all. Uh, we can afford to do an upgrade though. So let's give it a go. was each in armbands not not the ones that i was thinking we would get in there let's put unity in the cube i've got some brand new goods they might be interested in That's 
and we can get that at least ticked off. All right, more things to salvage up. Uh, do we want to switch our gems around? Yeah, let's let's do that now. Now is a good time. So one flawless royal ruby coming up. It is a gradual process, of course. So we'll have ended up taking a small step back in terms of actual damage output there. Um, but uh, honestly, we're doing so much at the moment, it makes it makes very little difference. Okay, uh, so just to recap, our Gorgok is up to rank 14. Bane of the Tractor is up to rank 14 as well. That's probably going to get swapped out as we get better gems. Uh, Bane of the Powerful needs to be swapped over for Bane of the Stricken. Uh, likewise, uh, that will that will get changed. Uh, we might use a Puzzle Ring to go to the Vault next time. Let me put the difficulty up, actually, uh, just so I don't forget. We're, we're very comfortable at Torment 12, so I think we can do Torment 13 uh, without issue. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I think we're, we're in a good place. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you are enjoying this. As always, if you are enjoying it, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Diablo 3. See you soon.